just want to start off by saying thank you to everybody for joining today um, and joining Mir's virtual career fair uh, online. Um, and I'm going to start off by presenting today about Mir's wage subsidies. Um, my name is Brandon Bello. I am the manager of wage subsidies and career development um, here with my senior manager of uh, wage subsidies and career development as well, Maeve Kelly. And we're going to present today uh, the funding options that Mir has to offer um, in the in the form of wage subsidies. Um, and we have three wage subsidies that we're going to present today. And all this information will be provided as well on mir.ca. Um, as well as I'll provide our email address at the end of the presentation and you can uh, follow up with us and uh, uh, provide any questions that you may have and uh, require any additional information, I can provide that as well. Um, the chat option is open. Uh, we will be taking questions as we go and I will answer them at the end of the presentation. So to begin, uh, the first program that Mir has to offer is our Gearing Up program. So Gearing Up is a work integrated learning program for Canada's mining sector. It is funded by the Government of Canada through Employment and Social Development Canada's Student Work Placement Program. Um, the funding amount that is available for the subsidy program is 50% of the student wages up to $5,000 and 70% up to $7,000 for equity deserving groups. Um, some examples of equity deserving groups would be um, women, uh, indigenous, uh, visible minorities, um, and these would be considered the equity deserving group and would be eligible for a higher subsidy amount. Um, eligibilities for the program. Employers must be Canadian owned or Canadian subsidiaries involved in the mining and mineral exploration sector. Participants must be students registered in full-time or part-time post-secondary programs in Canada. Um, must be Canadian citizens, permanent residents or persons with refugee status and be studying in fields related to STEM or business. And the requirements to qualify, uh, the will opportunity must be a paid employment position that provides relevant and meaningful work experience to students as part of a post-secondary program and be a component of the graduation requirements. And the student must be in a STEM, so a science, tech, engineering, or mathematics, or a business field. And the placement must take place in Canada. On to our next program we have our Green Jobs program. Um, so Green Jobs is MIR's uh, uh, Natural Resource Canada funded program that helps job ready youth gain relevant and meaningful work experience in mining through paid employment or training opportunities that focus on clean technology and innovation. The funding amount that's available for Green Jobs program is 75% of the, st of the students' wages up to $24,000 and up to $30,000 uh, for individuals that are identify as Indigenous youth, youth living with disabilities, and Northern and remote youth. Eligibility requirements for an employer can be a non not-for-profit organization, for-profit organization, Indigenous organization, and provincial, territorial, regional, and municipal governments. Participants must be between the ages of 18 and 30. This is what we consider youth. Uh, they must be a Canadian citizen, a permanent resident or protected persons. The participant must be unemployed uh, to, and can be eligible if in part-time school, um, but it doesn't apply to full-time students. Requirements to uh, qualify for this program, the position must be full-time it must be paid, uh, paid work that provides relevant and meaningful experience in the minerals and metals sector under the supervision of experienced staff who act as mentors and coaches. The subsidized work term is up to 12 months in duration 
and must align with the green economic sectors or support innovation and the use of green technologies and processes in the mineral and metal sector. And finally, our last program that we uh, that we offer is our Canadian Mining Work Placement Program, or CMWP for short. Uh, the Canadian Mining Work Placement Program offers wage subsidies to hiring organizations who provide a meaningful work experience to participants, enabling them to practice new skills and competencies acquired from recent and relevant occupational training. The amount of funding available for this program is 70% of the employee's wages, up to $10,000, and up to $15,000 for equity-deserving groups. Eligibility requirements for an employer uh, is offering mining operation and production level positions, such as mineral processing laborers and operators, underground miners, surface miners, heavy equipment operators, and drillers slash helpers. The participants must be new hire or existing workers looking to upskill in the organization. The requirements for this position or this funding opportunity is Canadian owned or Canadian sector involved in the mining and mineral exploration sector. And it also applies to organizations or contractors that provide job opportunities to employees to practice newly acquired skills from on the job training at a mine site. So this is our three uh, wage subsidy programs. Um, all this information, like I said, is on MIR.ca. Um, and I provided the MIR's wage subsidy team email that you can always reach out to us at wage subsidies at MIR.ca for any additional information or uh, further questions. And I am going to open up the chat now for questions. Um, and if uh, you have any, please feel free to uh, ask. So I have a question uh, for gearing up. What about people with a student study permit? Do you have to be in a certain province to benefit from this? Um, I'm guessing a student study permit would be considered a potentially an international student's permit or a visa of some sort. Unfortunately, these students would not be eligible for this funding program. Um, the student needs to be a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident of Canada. Oh, thank you, Maven, for answering that question in the chat. Is there any other questions that would be uh, anybody else? Would, um, are there vacancies for experienced uh, professionals with closed work permits? Um, not completely sure the definition of a closed work permit. Um, uh, Maybe are you able to look that up and answer that in the chat? That would be great. Um, do potential employees apply for these programs or does the employer? These programs are specifically for employers. Um, we are providing uh, funding opportunities to employers to help benefit the mining industry. Um, to provide more uh, diverse uh, job opportunities through the industry. So these would uh, only apply to employers and employers would apply uh, and have that employee employer relationship. Um, the programs that we currently offer are for Canadian citizens only, unfortunately. Um, international students, uh, we don't have any funding yet for them. Uh, it's something that uh, hopefully will come in time. I'm happy to jump in and uh, try to answer the question with regards to the closed work permit. So we don't, we are not uh, a, a mine. We actually don't hire and we don't really work as a human resources that way. Um, but we do have a link that I will put in the chat here. And 
on, on that website, you will find uh, resources for all the mines in Canada that are currently hiring. So I recommend that you go on those individual links and, and ask the organizations if they're hiring uh, persons with closed permits. Unfortunately, I wouldn't know. I'm adding the link in the in the chat right now. Are there any programs for the unemployed Canadian citizens over 55 years old? Um, our Canadian mining work placement program uh, would be the uh, best option. Uh, but in this applies to positions that are at operating mine sites. Um, so like your underground miners, surface miners, um, uh, drillers, heavy equipment operators. So these, these are the type of jobs. If you can connect with uh, an employer, they would be able to fund uh, the training portion uh, through the CMWP program. So it would be uh, worth noting and uh, once you apply to said employer, you could ask them to look at the CMWP program. Um, it may push them in one direction to help uh, hire and because they'll be subsidizing wages through that program. Is there any other questions? I believe the link is just above. It's miningneedsu.ca slash resources. Oh, I missed Anne Catherine's uh, question. So the question is, in practice, how would the process work? What does the employer need to do? And what does the employee need to do? Um, so for each of the programs, uh, you would apply on our mirror.ca website. Um, and we would get the application from the employer through the website and uh, review uh, which your, what positions you're applying for uh, based on the program. Uh, we would give it a pre-approval uh, and set aside that placement for the company where the company can go out and uh, find an applicant or a participant for the program and then fill in the uh, information that that uh, the, the participant uh, information, send it back to Mir and we will approve it. And then basically you provide a start and end date and we go through the program and once the program has uh, come to conclusion, uh, we would pay out the wage subsidy uh, funding. How about for professional geoscientists, uh, unemployed over 55? Uh, unfortunately, we don't currently have uh, subsidy programs uh, that fit that uh, requirement. Um, the first two gearing up is for students, uh, green jobs is for, uh, individuals between 18 and 30. And then the CNWP is for, uh, production and operational uh, positions. And, uh, Mava just posted the link to the wage subsidies, uh, for employers on our mirror.ca webpage. Oh, um, Ava it posted it to the host and panelists only. I think that's what's uh, why they can't see the link. Are you able to post to everyone? Perfect. So the link to the wage subsidies uh, is on our mirror.ca webpage there, and you can follow that link, and it'll bring you to all the information about the three programs. Uh, under each category, you'll see the how to apply uh, the application form. There's a applicant guides. Um, it's all provided there. And of course, you could always reach out to our 
uh, email address, uh, wage subsidies at near.ca. And we'd be happy to uh, connect with you and provide any additional information or answer any further questions. Is there any further questions? Any about the gearing up or the green jobs? Looks like we can wrap it up. Okay, well, I'm gonna say thank you very much for joining today. Once again, thank you for joining NIR's virtual career fair day. Um, it goes a long way to help the mining industry. Um, and we look forward to being in touch with all of you. Uh, reach out at any time to Mava or myself um, at our wage subsidy email. And uh, we'll help for pro pro positive progress in the uh, mining industry.